Hello everyone, and a warm welcome to all of you seeking to uncover the secrets that lie beneath the brushstrokes of history. Have you ever entertained the notion that a simple painting might hold more than meets the eye? What clandestine codes could be intricately woven into the tapestries of Renaissance art, awaiting the discerning gaze of an inquisitive mind? Let's embark on a journey together, peering behind the canvas of time to reveal the concealed whispers of the past. The Renaissance, a period illuminated by the flourish of ideas and the revival of classical learning, also serves as a cryptic canvas where artists ingeniously embedded subtle messages and symbols. As we stroll through this ornate philosophical gallery, imagine the hushed corridors echoing with the silent conversations between artist and observer, each painting a silent sentinel of hidden truths. What truths and ideologies could artists of the Renaissance era be communicating through their works, shrouded in the veils of allegory and symbolism? Such a question invites us to venture beneath the surface beauty of these masterpieces to probe the minds of their creators. Could it be that amidst political turmoil and religious censorship, these visual vessels carried controversial ideas, safely encrypted within layers of paint and perspective? In dissecting the heart of this theme, let's first draw our eyes to the intricate works of Leonardo da Vinci. Was the Last Supper merely a depiction of a biblical scene, or are there secrets encoded within the apostles, gestures, and the spatial composition? And what of Botticelli's La Primavera, teeming with mythological allegories that could potentially reflect the undercurrents of Neoplatonic thought within the Medici court? These are stories told in silence, where every element bears significance, from the choice of plants and their positioning, to the direction of a gaze or the subtlety of a hand's placement. We cannot discuss hidden messages without acknowledging the whispered contributions of voices from both the past and present. Plato once suggested that art is the imitation of an imitation, a copy of the true reality. Could it be that these coded messages in Renaissance art are imitations with deeper truths lying beneath them? Modern scholars, such as Ernst Gombrich and Leo Steinberg, have spent decades decoding these visual enigmas, offering their interpretations and continuing the dialogue across the centuries. Scanning the broad expanse of history, we find that the theme of concealment in art is not limited to the Renaissance. The Dutch Golden Age, for instance, presents us with artworks replete with symbols of life's transience, veiling moral messages within still lifes and portraits. Take, for example, the Vanitas paintings that serve as memento mori, reminders of the inevitability of death, prompting viewers to reflect on the brevity of life and the vanity of earthly pleasures. As we delve into the ethical implications and moral considerations, we might ask, what is the responsibility of an artist when it comes to embedding messages within their work? Is it subversion or enlightenment they aim to achieve? Take, for example, Michelangelo's The Last Judgment in the Sistine Chapel. Beyond the grandeur of its scale and the vividity of its figures, it is said that Michelangelo may have included a veiled critique of the church's corruption, a bold statement made in a precarious time for outspoken thinkers. In cultural reflections, we see literary parallels in works like Dante's Divine Comedy, where every canto is rich with allegorical significance, mirroring the layered messages in the visual arts. Likewise, contemporary cinema often employs visual metaphor to convey complex themes, much as the Renaissance masters did with their canvases. Bringing our conversation into the light of contemporary discussions, we find that the intrigue surrounding hidden messages in art has not diminished with time. The prevalence of conspiracy theories and popular literature, such as Dan Brown's The Da Vinci Code, are testaments to our enduring fascination with the cryptic. These modern interpretations, however controversial, spark debates that challenge our understanding of art history and invite us to revisit the dusty aisles of galleries with a new sense of wonder and skepticism. As we near the conclusion of our exploration, 
It is evident that the art of the Renaissance holds a significance that transcends aesthetic appreciation. These works compel us to look beyond the visible, to question and to seek out the layers of meaning that might just redefine our perception of history and knowledge. In appreciation of your company on this exploratory journey, I leave you with a few parting thoughts to ponder. What might we discover if we look beyond the obvious in our everyday encounters? How might our world change if we sought the hidden messages in the world around us? Finally, I encourage each of you to continue this exploration in your own lives, always seeking the truths that lie just beneath the surface. May your days be filled with curiosity and your minds ever open to the wonders of the hidden messages that surround us. Until next time, take care and keep the spirit of inquiry alive.